In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stress, distress, and loneliness. Those were big issues during the time of Jesus, and he talked about them. But they're big issues today, and I think we can understand a lesson from what he said. It is very easy to get upset over little things. It's easy to be stressed. Sometimes it's good to be stressed. Sometimes to be a little bit stressed is to be cautious. There's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes stress is something that comes and it goes and it just keeps us on our toes. Like the water not being quite as hot as it should be in the morning for our shower, and we know there's something wrong, or or the, the pen that is now out of ink and you don't know where another is, and and those those things pass. And and we can hold on to that. And and that's not such a big deal. We're like children, Jesus said. We're like children playing in the market and saying, you didn't play my game. You're not playing with me. Then I just will not play with you. And we do that in our lives, you know. And so there is that anxiety. There is that stress. And there is that ability in ourselves to relate to another that is very, very thin at times. But we get over it. It is when it goes into distress that we have a problem. Because distress can make you sick. And Jesus is talking about that too. You criticized John the Baptist, he said, because he was eating and drinking and he was just too rough. You brood of vipers! And Jesus was very tender. And Jesus ate and drank with tax collectors. And so there is that anxiety that comes that is now more pronounced and it makes a change in our lives. You see, when the stress becomes distress, it lasts. It lasts because we have so many things to observe that we cannot focus on any. It's like the lion tamer. You know, the lion tamer goes in the cage with a whip and and perhaps a gun for noise, but the thing that really matters is the stool. Not to sit on, but to hold out to the lion. Because the lion sees the stool as several objects pushing toward him. He sees the stool as something on which he cannot focus. And so, the lion is confused, and with other proper training, a little bit more tame than he would be if he could focus on that person. And so it is with Jesus talking about his position, and it's also true of our position today. It's true because we get caught up in a focus that is going different directions. We try to focus on Jesus, but so much in life interferes. Did you hear the passage from Romans today? Paul is saying, I know what to do, and I don't do it. Again and again and again and again and again, I don't do it. I think it's my focus. I cannot focus completely. It's, I'm going in different directions, and I'm trying to focus on what the world is giving me, and I'm trying to focus on Jesus. And it's not working, because I'm getting blurred focus all the time. And what does that do? It makes me do what I don't want to do, said Paul, again and again and again. 
But the tension that is there now can become something very, very dangerous for us. Because when the tension falls in on us, we are not very good examples of humankind, much less Christians. And Jesus is saying, I've got the answer to this, but you need to listen. I wish we had the 15th verse instead of beginning with the 16th verse in the gospel. Those of you who have ears, listen. In other words, are you hearing me? Are you, are you hearing me? I know you're listening, but are you really hearing what I'm saying? Are you understanding what I'm saying? And Jesus is saying over and over again, you need to understand that I'm here for you. I'm here for you, and I'm here to take part of the burden that you've got, the anxiety that comes because you've been stressed to the point of being distressed. And now you've got to realize that you're going to throw your life away if you don't get it together. Because you're not going to be able to handle all the world is dumping in on you unless you have an escape valve. And all of the problems of the world are still going to come. Jesus didn't say, I'm going to take away the problems. He said, if you take my yoke upon you, and you know a yoke is, is a binding together of two animals, usually over the neck, and they are pulling a heavy load, pulling together much easier than they would pull one at a time. In that image, Jesus is saying to us, I want you to be yoked with me. Now, the burden is still going to be there, but the burden is going to be light because you're not going to be pulling all of it. You're not going to be pulling all of the burden. And... You, you see what happens when all of this crashes in on us? Loneliness comes. Now, we've, we've made that word such a casual word that I think it's, it's lost its meaning. Are you lonesome tonight? Well, lonely is also a medical term. And I read in the newspaper just this last week about a 10-year-old study. I can't remember where it was done, somewhere in England. 10-year-old study of people with diabetes. Now, here's what, what it said. Loneliness can cause cardiovascular trouble quicker than, listen to this, a bad diet, no exercise, and smoking combined. Loneliness. And what is loneliness as a medical term? It's when you don't have anybody you can confide in. And people get to that point. Oh, they'll have friends, but I can't confide in the friends. I can't tell my friends that. But you can tell God that. You can tell God that. And God is listening and God is not condemning. And you know friends are not going to always be there as friends. And you don't trust. So God is saying to us, first of all, those of you who have ears, listen. Are you listening to me, Jesus said. I'm here to help you. You can take my offer or you can deny it. You can take this load 
in life. And it comes to all of us. Or you can share it. Jesus said, I'll share it with you. You got the choice. I'll take, I'll take my part and maybe a little bit more. I'll help you get through all of this mess. The stress, the distress, and that feeling, that feeling that you get of loneliness. His formula worked then. And it can work today. Amen.